I started surfing about seven years old. It was a daily ritual where dad and I would surf before school and work and surf again in the afternoon. Surfing for me, it's a self-expression. I guess salt water runs through my veins. My name is Matt Chinoski. I'm a professional surfer, classic car restorer, and surf history enthusiast. My passion for classic cars came about from just chasing waves with my dad in our old uh, 1970s combi. He picked me up from school on a Friday afternoon and we'd shoot off for the weekend. We'd set up the camper van in the back and have the boards on the roof. The Volkswagen Combi is a 1971 model. It's a single cab, the 1600 motor, lowered suspension in the front and rear, and we've got custom interior and custom wood slats in the rear for the bed tray. We don't have a radio in it, we just have the basic heater controls, but it's that simplicity that attracts me to it. Just starting to tune the motor, it's a brand new motor, it's been rebuilt. It's just hearing it and listening to the simplicity of the car rolling down the road is something really attractive about that. It makes you want to get in and drive it on the weekend. The name Waxhead comes from being a super keen surfer when I was younger. I sort of wear it as a badge of honor these days. Car guys and motorbike guys were summed up in America as greasers. You either were one or the other. Not many people actually combine the passions. The Volkswagen Combi was so synonymous with surfing in the 60s and 70s. The reliability and the simplicity that these cars offered, it made these surf spots so far away, so practical. You could sleep in the back, drive through the night, go across deserts. And I think the reliability and functionality of Volkswagen Combis was what forged that reputation. Taylor and Both and Body Works, it's a third generation business and dad took it over in the 1990s after working there for a long time. And to this day, we still have the same customers that we have since the 60s, which is unreal. All the guys at our workshop drive classic cars, and we do so almost daily. So we know what it takes to keep these cars on the road. And we feel like we're doing a service, not just to the customer, but for classic car culture in general. A lot of the surfboards that I've got in my collection were actually made in the 1960s by surfboard shapers whose cars we actually repaired back in those days. And it's that heritage of Brookvale that I feel like I'm a part of, both the surfing side and the car side. The cars and surfing collaboration came about from old surf media, picking up old magazines and flicking through and seeing these cool old surf scenes by the beach, you know, combis or old Valiants, uh, even Chevy Impalas hanging by the beach in California. And it really attracted me and something about those long, elegant lines and classic style of longboarding that just go hand in hand. Longboarding is riding surfboards that are over nine feet in length. Uh, they were popularized in the 1960s and it was all about making it look easy. Surfing classic longboard is like watching a Cadillac cruise down the boulevard and you think of those big six lane highways in America and you've got this beautiful old car and those gorgeous lines just cruising down the highway on sunset. Well, that's what it's like surfing a longboard. My surfboard and car collection I keep in storage, but it's somewhere that I can come and enjoy. It's a functional workspace, so we have a bit of overflow from the workshop, somewhere I can come and work by myself, but it's in a nice setting. We've got a lot of classic surf magazines and car paraphernalia that I've collected over the years. It's a great place for me to come and get away from it all. I have quite a number of longboards. I've collected them over years. They range right from 1950s longboards right up to boards made today. Yeah, I find myself as an avid collector, but I do ride most of the boards as well. A good escape for me is cruising the combi looking for waves. From Manly to Palm Beach, you can find me in all those little coves and beaches looking for the best waves every day. In 30 years, you could still find me on the northern beaches, I think. This is paradise, and the dream would be to do for my family what my dad did for me when I was younger and get a classic car and go up the coast and search for waves. East Coast of Australia has some beautiful tranquility from the sandstone cliffs in Sydney to the palm trees up north get up in the morning is always something to look forward to. I guess a lot of people can say that I'm stuck in a time warp or born in the wrong era. Driving classic cars and surfing every day is a lifelong dream and I can't see myself stopping anytime soon.